I'm on my way to the very top of the world's tallest building, a place only a select few highly skilled technicians have ever been before. Oh, my word! If I'm to make it all the way, I've got to climb the final 80 metres inside the spire. Bashar? Yep? You know your tower? Yep. It's absolutely dazzling up to about here. I'm not surprised you don't allow your more high-class clientele to come here. <laughs> He's taking me to perform essential maintenance on what must be the most inconveniently located bit of kit on any building in the world. You're almost there, you can see it. This is the very top bridge. That's the sky. Oh, my word! We did it. This is the highest you can be on a building. This is the highest you can be on a building on this planet. We are on top of the world. <laughs> we are on top of the world. I'm looking at an aeroplane below us. Much below us. <laughs> That's the strangest feeling. And tall buildings, they have such an appeal to us as humans, don't they? True. And do you think part of it is to be the tallest thing, to have the furthest view? I can see more than anybody else. You know that this tip can be spotted from 95 kilometers away. I'd also like to point something else out. I am slightly taller than you, which means I'm right now the <laughs> tallest man in the world. That's me. I am the tallest man in the world right now. <laughs> so now we have to do our maintenance. Yes, indeed. Where um, is it, the thing we've come to fix? It's just behind you. This small container is a lightning arrester. Inside it is a sophisticated lightning detection system capable of identifying an approaching electrical storm. So this is our lightning arrester here, and we are going to replace the battery. Wait a minute. Basha, we just climbed to the top of the world's tallest building to change a battery. Yep, we did. Why is it battery powered and not plugged into the mains? Because with lightning, you can fly that out. So it needs to be isolated? It needs to be isolated. It needs to be a battery. You have to wait and see the tool to do that. What? <laughs> that is the small thing, together with that, that makes this huge thing possible. Basically, what you're telling me is this is the world's biggest smoke detector battery change. It is indeed. We have just climbed to the very, very top of the tallest building in the world to change the battery in the device that can detect an approaching electric storm. That's a different day out, isn't it? Indeed. When lightning strikes, it looks for the tallest object as it provides the quickest path to ground, which puts the Burj Khalifa firmly in the firing line. But rather than repelling strikes, the lightning arrester attracts them by detecting the polarity of the lightning and giving itself the opposite charge. That might sound unwise, as a single bolt can contain up to a billion volts. But the Burj Khalifa has a trick up its sleeve. Its steel exoskeleton acts as a giant Faraday cage, safely discharging the electricity around the outside and protecting everyone inside. So that has been hit? It was hit 16 times. 16 times? Yep. And we can actually measure the intensity of that lightning. Really? Yep. It takes roughly 50 milliseconds for it to hit and bounce back. And if we could capture it, it would be enough to power up this building for one full year. <laughs> You've got to work on that next, Bashar. That's yeah, what you yeah, yeah. Do. The Burj Khalifa is basically Dubai's lightning rod, drawing strikes away from other buildings in the city. They don't actually give daily thanks, but I'm sure they think it. This is the weirdest thing I've mm -hmm. ever done. I have a question to ask. Yes, please. Is there a lift back down? 